Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> Thank you guys for contacting me, you know, with your emails and your calls to see how I'm doing. Um, for, for, for those of you who didn't know, I just went through some health issues. Gallbladder had to get removed, all this kind of nonsense, some complications. But I'm good to go now. It's been a while since our last video. I'm not even going to count the months because really it doesn't matter. Just know that we're back. We're going to be doing some great things this year. Some more plein air paintings like you're seeing here in this video. Just a little side note. This video was from October of last year and I'm with Brian Garay and Carl Virgo. Unfortunately, my audio was not working that day and I was going to pitch the video. But I thought, you know what? This is a perfect video for me to put into this year and talk to you guys about, you know, what had happened and, you know, get you back on track on what we're planning on doing for the rest of this year. And also thank you guys for, like I said, checking on me and, you know, all of your well wishes and um, also all of your encouragement um, for all of the videos that we have posted so far. You know, I've been getting a lot of feedback on them and both of ways to um, to better things and also just encouraging me to keep going. I appreciate that more than anything. My heart is full. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. So just to just to go back just a little bit, you know, it's it's been rough, not just for me health wise, but for Brian and Carl and some of my other friends, a lot of people's have been going through a, a lot of things. You guys might um, been going through some things yourself. So, you know, if you have, my heart goes out to you and I hope you're doing better. Know that Carl and Brian, they're doing good too. Um, after everything and I healed up, uh, I got a part-time job working with Brian actually at a frame shop, a friend of ours, ours owns. So it's like a family affair. And, um, it's been a learning curve because I got to learn their ways of doing it since I, I did my own framing. I had my own framing business for close to 15 years. Um, but every frame shop has their own different ways of doing things, as you can imagine. But I'm in the swing of things, you know. Um, it wasn't like they had to train me from scratch. So I'm learning some new things. And I only work two to three days a week, which is a bonus because then the rest of the time, we have to play and to create art and to be together with friends. So there's that. Um, but yeah, uh, here we are back at the Orland Park um, Forest Preserve um, that we've gone to, I think, probably two or three times before. We love this place. Not only do they have a covered picnic area where I'm sitting, um, but they have a huge, you know, um, area, as you can see, a little part of it where Brian and Carl are. Um, but there's, there's so much land that they could move around and take different, paint different perspectives of that particular area. So, um, but I love this spot. I love this spot not only because of the covered area, but I love the spot because it's near the pond. There's a lot to be seen from almost a 360, even under that particular space. I'm working on watercolors here. I think the travel watercolors I brought with me that day was by Koi. And I, and I do enjoy those watercolors and I'm working on some five by seven cold pressed paper. Carl and Brian are out there working on some small canvas and they're working with oils. Brian <clears throat> pretty much exclusively works with oils. Um, where Carl on the other hand he he's a mixed media artist. He loves working with different mediums oils, pastels, acrylics, watercolors, you name it. And you've seen some videos of some of his other works um, in some of the previous videos we posted of his. 
Um, and of course, my work is also off the charts. I do every medium, sculptural, painting. Um, I have worked with oils, although it isn't a, a medium that I go to because I can't really afford all of the oil paints and things like that that you need to do that. And today, my studio space is way smaller than my previous one. So the fumes, I have to be careful with that kind of thing here. Um, but anyways, I appreciate watching these guys working with oils, but I'll stick to some of the stuff that I do, which is mainly uh, inks, watercolors, and acrylics. And like I said, here is all watercolor, and I'm just enjoying everything that's going on that day. We all had been going through a lot of things and um, depression uh, health wise and to get out the past October was a godsend and we enjoyed every minute of it I can tell you uh, I don't know for those of you who have not been out plein air painting it is not an exclusive group or club Find a spot that you enjoy sitting at, like where, like I'm sitting at a picnic table, campground, anywhere, you know, put your easel up, you know, there, I used to feel, I guess, intimidated to get out and paint outside. And I don't even know why, because I'm a nature photographer. I'm out in nature all the time. And that part of my creativity is, you know, is photographing things outdoors. I love being out in nature. I love hiking. I, I love everything about that, you know, and why it took me so long to get out here and paint. I can't tell you. Maybe I just felt intimidated, like I needed to be, I don't know, Rembrandt or Picasso. I don't even know. I can't say because I don't really compare myself to anybody, but it whatever stopped me or, or maybe there's a time and a place for everything um, I'm gonna go with that <laughs> because I really don't have an answer to why it took me so long to be outdoors and painting it is one of the most exhilarating and inspiring situations I think I've ever created in and whether I I'm by myself or with friends it's there's something about being out in nature that awakens every it just awakens all the senses you know feeling the breeze over your skin smelling the sense of nature around you hearing um, the buzzing of bees the chirping of birds the rustling of leaves and the trees um, it's it's just awe awakening it just pulls you right into whatever you're doing and you feel free that's all i can say it's it's a freedom that happens so i encourage you definitely get out there find a spot don't feel intimidated there's nothing to be intimidated about you know uh see how it feels for you even if it's just to experience it for the first time if you never do it again but i can tell you i'm addicted now i never i don't think i've been addicted to anything but ice cream <laughs> but i'm addicted to this now for real and these guys inspire me every single day i appreciate these two fellas carl and brian you, if you're watching this video, know how much I love you and appreciate you. I appreciate you as friends, as brothers, as fellow artists. You know, uh, you guys, thumbs up all the way. And so, hey, you know, we're, we are going to find some awesome places this year. We've already started talking about our next sessions together. We are just so excited, anticipating what's next. We want to maybe hit some spots in the nearby uh, in Indiana, some of those locations that I've heard about. And I will um, definitely let you guys know 
beforehand when the videos are about to launch so you can get your popcorn ready your uh, tea soda pop whatever you drink can of beer whatever sit back and uh, watch our videos um, listen get on our YouTube I mean not our YouTube channel but because you're already on that but get on our Instagram for our diaries get on our Instagram because I'm gonna start posting on there little uh, trailers of the next videos and I'll give you the dates and the times because I know a lot of you guys you know don't know how to click the certain things to get notifications I get it don't worry about it go on our Instagram wait for the trailers to know when the next videos are coming up and then also if you want to follow my personal Instagram it's Robin Monique Rios and like I said for our diaries so get on there follow and I'll post um, those reels for the you know to get you guys scheduled for the next videos coming up and um, now Carl doesn't have um, social media right now I do plan to get him up on Instagram um, at some point he's not really technical in that way so I'm gonna help him and get that going for him um, Brian does have a website you could check out his website I'll put the link in the description and hopefully um, Brian actually just got his first smartphone so I'm gonna try to get him on Instagram too and I'll let you know once he's on as well so anyways guys yeah um, comment like give us some ideas like if you're in Illinois or Indiana not like far out Indiana because we're not gonna be able to travel too far maybe like an hour away um, but close by Indiana and if there's places that you think that we should um, visit and plane air at please let me know in the comments also um, any places in Illinois that you think we should travel out to and do some plain air painting please let me know in the comments below put the location like you know um, so I can find it if it's like a forest preserve name Nate put the name of the forest preserve if you don't know the exact location um, but if you know the location please add the address and everything and then I can do Google Maps and figure that out because I would definitely like to get more people out you know in my area to come out with us and plain air paint and um, I'm going to be encouraging people to do that because like I said even if you experience it just once in your life I think it's going to be a worthwhile experience trust me when I say so another thing I want to get going is some more uh, studio visits I did have some people that I was trying to schedule in for last year but I never got a chance to um, uh, keep those commitments so I'm going to try to get that up this year and um, if you're a Chicago artist you want me to check you out please um, put your link in the comments if you can or you know type it out somehow so I can go Google you and find your website or whatever and get in touch with you know to maybe do a studio visit with you I'm open to that um, but again, we as a group for our diaries in general is, is really our legacy that we're leaving behind. And that's how I'm looking at this channel. It's, you know, part of who I am as an artist and a mentor. I feel it's important for us to continue to talk about art um, in a real way. We're not trying to be pretentious. We're not trying to sell people that we're an artist or sell them on our art. It's not really what we do. You know, um, I'm an artist because I was born to be one. I wasn't created to be an artist. Um, I, I feel like art saves my life on a daily basis. And I appreciate it so much that there is no money value that will ever be placed on it. So, you know, 
when I do these videos, it's because I want to make sure that artists' voices are heard. And a lot of times in the art world, it's not always possible. We're not always given those kind of opportunities. And I'm trying to open the door to that. And know that all of you guys who have been watching our videos, who've been making comments, who've been clicking the like or whatever, you know, um, I appreciate you so much. You know, um, that means the world to me. It, it means more than money could ever pay. You know, this is free for all of us to enjoy, to do. And, you know, it, it's something that I'm going to continue to do till my last breath. So thank you guys so much for, for all your support, for your encouragement. I share this information with all of my artist friends, Carl and Brian, and they appreciate me too. And, you know, um, having good people like them around you on a daily basis is something that we all need, uh, that camaraderie. So thank you guys. Know that after this video, there'll be some more snippets. I'll add some music to it. Thank you for watching. I love you. And I can't wait to get more videos out there to you. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hook up on my Instagram. All right, guys, take care and get out there and play there.